Hi, I'm Marianne Coran. Welcome back to Wide World of Games. Salute to the great shows we keep hidden away in our vaults. Well, the Battle of the Sexes continues with a show called The Better Sex. Yes, we are. <laughs> it was a variation of a quiz show involving bluffs, and it pitted six men on one team against six women on another. Team members who lost just dropped to the wayside like so much roadkill. <laughs> An interesting twist was at the end of the show, the winning team played against the audience. How much fun. The hosts were Sarah Purcell, who later starred on NBC's Real People, and country music singer Bill Anderson. Now let's find out which sex triumphed on this episode of The Better Sex from 1977. It's men versus women in a battle of the sexes. Women or men, which is the better sex? And here are the stars of The Better Sex, Sarah Purcell and Bill Anderson. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Dan. Thank Hi, you. Oh, thank you very much, and hi, and welcome to The Better Sex. Wow, are those... Those be oh just a neck oh I like I can choke you with that <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna try to watch that. I wouldn't dare <laughs> we have a dynamite men's team but we also have a brand new women's team that I'd like you to meet Beverly hi Sarah I'm Beverly Frame from La Cunada I'm a native Californian I'm happily married for 25 years to the same great guy we have seven children five boys and two girls and even though we're outnumbered at home we girls can hold our own Wow. <laughs> Terrific, Beverly. Janet, or Jeanette, excuse me. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jeanette Shuck. I was born and raised in Hollywood. I have three little girls, ages one, two, and five months. And I have a husband at home with a broken leg. And that's the reason we have so many children. I can hardly wait for them to go back to work. <laughs> Gail. Hi, Sarah. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Okay. My name's Gail Webb, and I work as a flight attendant. I'm married to a very nice man whose name is Don Ferguson, and he sells real estate, and we're from Aurora, Colorado. Well, welcome to the show, Thank Gail. You. Louise. Hi, Sarah. Oh, listen. <laughs> Louise. Hi. I'm Louise Saratani. I hail from Seaside Heights, New Jersey. I have a wonderful guy back there and three children, 27, 28, and 29. Wow, terrific. <laughs> wow, look at that. Crystal. My name is Crystal Griffin, and I'm originally from Savannah, Georgia, and I've been a student at USC for the past three years. All righty. And Carolyn. Hello. I'm Carolyn Mashinsky, married to Rick. I have two sons, Frank and Michael. I'm a hairdresser, a member of the CCA. I'm attending real estate school, and I'm a Sagittarius. Wow, busy lady. And there you have the better set. All right, we'd like to welcome these ladies to our show. It's a pleasure to have them. But I gotta tell you, this is a dynamite men's team. They've been around for several days now. They've won themselves $26,000. And they're about to try for some more. Hi, Bill. My name is Harold Bowers. I'm a retired fireman from Redondo Beach. And a rich one right at the moment. Well, yeah. Working on it. I might buy my own fireboat now. <laughs> All right. Hello, Eric. Hi, I'm uh, Eric Lampell. I'm uh, originally from Las Vegas, and I just spoke to my accountant, Omar of Oxnard. And he said, <laughs> Oh, you're rich. <laughs> good show. Well, good luck. All right. Hello, Ray. Hello, Bill. I'm Ray Sesma. I live in Lafayette, California. I work in Oakland. I'm a business manager. I'm married, and I have an eight year old girl. Oh, right. Alicia. Good. Hello, William. Hi, Bill. Can I call you William? I know it's a problem. Right. That'll get, keep it apart. I'm Bill Kindred from Orange, California. I'm in the recreation vehicle business, and if I keep winning, I'm going to buy me an RV. An R What's an RV? Recreation vehicle. Oh, that's <laughs> dumb of me to ask one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a brand or something. I don't know. Hello, Jim. Hi, Bill. I'm Jim Eakins, a very rich single man from Seal Beach. <laughs> and, uh, Are you accepting proposals uh, from the young yes, ladies? Yes, I just want to tell everybody that I've been around here so long, I'm going to have my mailing address changed to ABC Studios. That's quite all right. <laughs> okay. And our sex symbol, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say? Uh, <laughs> Well, that's what you told me to say. Oh, that's right. You're Charles Jackson of uh, Los Angeles. I got a little point for the ladies. These six guys on stage, after we get through, we're going to romp and rage. Here we guys. Hey, baby. <laughs> and there you have the <laughs> 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 When we left 
left off last time. We have a brand new women's team. We were about to start a new game, so the women are in the attack position. Beverly, step right up. Now, you remember the object of the game is to fool those men. All right, here's your question. A study of male singers revealed that there is a relationship between a singer's vocal range and his sexual activity. Singers with what kind of voice were the most sexually active? Now, here's your card, and on that card is the correct answer and a bluff. Use whichever one you think will fool the men. I really know this because I'm a singer. Basses. Basses is our answer, Bill. We need... <coughs> we need... <laughs> We need somebody new to write questions. No, we need two of you guys to agree or disagree. What was the question? <laughs> Singers with what kind of voice were the most sexually active? And she says a bass voice. Do you agree? I can't even do it. I'm going to have to disagree. It has to be a uh, tenors. All right, we've got a no vote. Jimmy, think it's bass singers. <laughs> Is my voice deep enough? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll agree with that. All right, we've got a no, we've got a yes. Bill, the team's gonna go the way that you go. You think it's bass singers? I'll disagree. You'll disagree. All right, we've got our consensus. Charles, you and Bill are on the line. If she's fooled you, she's knocked you out. Otherwise, we've knocked out two of the ladies. Beverly, we say the answer, bass singers, is the incorrect answer. The more sexually active men have voices that are basses, and you're right. <laughs> Sorry, we brought that whole question up. <laughs> we just knocked two of the men out. We're going to continue playing, but we're going to take a break real quick. So don't go away. You wear. Game Show Network is bringing you a November to remember. Filled with celebrities. Movie heroes. But of course. Original programming. Oh, yeah, bunch of life. Yeah. Hey, folks, it's going to be a November to remember. Comedy legends. And some favorites you may not know about. Don't miss Game Show Network's November to Remember. Um, we're back. If I can just get the male host away from the women's team a second, we'll continue. We knocked out two of your men, by the way. <laughs> Here you go, Beverly. Color expert Dr. Max Lucher has found that people who prefer a certain color are often mentally and emotionally immature. What color is it? There's your card. White. White is our answer, Bill. All right, we need two of you to agree or disagree with white. You think that's the color, Jim? I would be inclined to, dis uh, to agree with that since, uh, to me, white doesn't really show much imagination. All right, we've got a yes vote. Ray, you think it's white? I'm going to agree with that. I'm not sure, but I'm going to agree with that. All right. You two guys are on the line. We say the answer white is the correct answer, Beverly. Immature people prefer violet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Pardon me, but for the benefit of the people watching in black and white, what color is that? This is mauve. <laughs> it looks violet to me. <laughs> There's only two men left there, Beverly. <laughs> We got to knock those two men out so that we can win the $1,000, the game, and a chance to play for $5,000 more. Here's your question. The University of Pennsylvania asked members of both sexes if they would marry someone even though they weren't in love. Which sex had more people who said yes, they would? There you go. The men. The men is our answer, Bill. All right, Eric, be very careful. You and Harold are <clears throat> our last hope up here right now. You think it's the men said they would marry if they weren't necessarily in love? Well, I'm sensing the vibrations, and I think it's the women, so I'm going to disagree. All right, we've got a no vote. Harold, what do you think? Think it's the men? I think that's something a woman would do. So I think it's the women. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on tight, guys. This is for all the marbles. We say the answer, the men, is the incorrect answer. The sex that would marry, even if they weren't in love, were the men. You're out of here! Wow, a shutout. 
A shutout. A new team and a shutout. Well, I you guys say. know that uh, they've got to beat us twice now for us yeah. to be out, but we are now vulnerable. We've lost one game to these ladies, so we'll go back and kind of get our act together. And we'll wish you a lot of luck in your new ladies' team. They're dynamite. Oh, I Have should say. Against the We're going to try to win $5,000 after we pause for these messages, okay? Come on. men's team they won a thousand dollars and now they're all said to try to win five thousand more by playing 30 men in the studio audience would you 30 guys stand up yeah! now each of you ladies gets one question and with that question you want to fool and knock out as many of those 30 men as you can with your answer if you succeed and knock out all 30 of them you win five thousand dollars but if you should fail and there's some men left standing, they split a pot of $500. Would you gentlemen get your voting indicators ready? And we'll get started here. Mm -hmm. All right, Beverly, here's your question. Oh, is she ready and raring to go? <laughs> Shut up that whole men's team all by herself. What is the largest grain crop in the United States? And there's your card. Now, that has the correct answer on it. If you want to use that, you can or make up a bluff. Corn. You think it's corn? Vote yes. If not, vote no. Three of the men agreed with corn. Twenty-seven of the men disagreed with corn. The correct answer is corn. <laughs> There's only three men left standing. I only see two of them, though. There's one gentleman still available. Stand up, sir. <laughs> when there's only three left, we can count them pretty well. Stand up. Here we go. Here's the second question. Are you ready, Jeanette? I'm ready. The American Cancer Society says that smoking is more on the increase among members of one sex. Which sex is it? And there's your card, Jeanette. Oh, males. You think it's males? Vote yes. If not, vote no. All three of the men voted alike. Jeanette, if you have fooled those three men, we've won the $5,000 right here on the second question. You said the males. All three of the men agreed. The correct answer is female. <laughs> Anybody knocking out the audience on two questions? Never been before. done before. The very first time. The very first time. Congratulations. That's terrific. Yeah, that's super. <laughs> well, the women have got six thousand dollars, and our men over here, of course, have been around long enough to have twenty-six thousand. We're in the attack. Now. Go ahead. All right, Jim, come on down because hey. this is a dynamite team over here. Let's see if we can set two of the ladies down real quick. All, right. All people, regardless of sex, are more likely to dream about members of one sex. Now, which sex is dreamed about more often? There's your card. Men. All right, we say the answer is men. Okay, Louise, do you think it's the men that are dreamed about more often by both sexes? Yes, I definitely do. You definitely agree. We've got a yes vote. Beverly? I do, too. I dream about men. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. All right, we've got our consensus, Jim. We say that the answer, men, is the correct answer. The sex that's dreamed about more often is the men. And we didn't <laughs> other men would you like to have uh, join him? Harold. Harold is number five. <laughs> yeah, I see you, Harold. All righty. Let's see if we can knock two more down, Carolyn. Uh -huh. The Evening Outlook recently reported that most of the original telephone operators were men. Why were the men replaced by women? And there's your card. Uh, the reason men were replaced by women The men were too rude. 
The men were too rude is our answer, Bill. All right, Eric, you think the men were replaced because they were too rude as telephone operators? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sounds logical to me. I'd be rude. We've got a... You would? Yeah, on the phone. <laughs> All right. Ray, you agree or disagree that it's the men? I will uh, disagree just on the fact that I think maybe the, they just like to listen to a pretty voice, female. You think they listened in on the conversation? Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> we've got a yes, we've got a no, Bill. The team will go the way you go. You think the men were let go as operators because they were too rude? No. You're going to disagree? Right. All right, we've got our consensus. We say that the answer that they were too rude is the incorrect answer, Carol. The men operators were replaced because the men were too rude. <laughs> I sure am enjoying this. There's two men there left, Carolyn. Let's see if we can knock them out and win the game and try to win 5,000 more. Right. In a study of couples who recently became parents for the first time, one parent was found to be much more disturbed if the baby was noisy and active. Which parent was it? There's your card. The answer is the mother. The mother is our answer, Bill. All right, it's comeback time. Eric and Charles, you think the mother would be likely to be more disturbed if the baby was noisy and active? It makes sense that it would be the male because he works all day, and it would seem that it would be the men. So I've got to disagree. Yeah. Disagree. All right. <laughs> We've got a no vote and a lot of help in the audience. Yeah, all right. I disagree too. Charles, no you disagree vote. also. Yeah. Hang on tight, guys, because this is it. If we didn't do it right. All right. We say that the answer. The mother is the incorrect answer, Carolyn. Noisy and active babies disturb the father. We didn't fall Carolyn. <laughs> they know. Oh, we've been here before, Charles. It's come down to this again. Five ladies are left. Pick one of them you'd like to knock. Number out. four, Beverly. Four ladies left, Charles. We need this one bad. According to the latest figures, which state has more people in prison than any other state? New York. All right, we say the answer is New York. Okay, Louise, do you think it's New York that has more prisoners in prison? Well, I'm going to say yes, but only because of the population. They did not say percentage, they said people, right? Yeah. Okay, okay we've got a yes vote. Gail? Oh, I hate to be in this position, but I'm going to say yes, too. I believe that's right. You think it is New mm -hmm. York? Okay. Charles, we say that the answer, New York, is the correct answer. The state with the most people in prison is Texas, yeah. and you're out. Right. Oh, All right, Charles, got a boy. All right, two ladies remain. We got two guys left. Woo. This is for it right here. Here we go. New Times Magazine reports that the more a person consumes of this very common substance, the more depressed the person will be. Now, what substance is it? Ketchup. All right, you say the answer is ketchup. Okay, Jeanette, do you think it's ketchup? No, I disagree. I believe, I believe it's sugar. Okay, we've got a no vote. Crystal? I, I also think it's sugar. I disagree. You're with going that. to disagree, too. Okay, this is for the game. Charles, we say that ketchup is the wrong answer. A person will be more depressed if he consumes a lot of caffeine. We didn't fool him in the lines of the game. Oh, you did a good job. You did Close. Oh. Wow. Wow. Hey, I've got a very unpleasant thing to do. I hate to say goodbye to these guys. They've been around for so long. They've won $26,000, the second highest in the history of our show, and they're super good. So, good luck to you. Nice meeting you all. Thank you for playing with us. See you, Bill. Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye. See you, Harold. Okay, Jim. Bye -bye. Thank you. Good luck to all of you guys. And may I say good luck to you playing against the men in the audience, because you guys don't give them nothing. We're going to try to win. to go, Carolyn. Here's your question. What is the largest city in India? There's your card. The largest city is New Delhi. If you think it's New Delhi, vote yes. If not, vote no. Seventeen of the men agreed with New Delhi. Thirteen of the men disagreed. The correct answer is Bombay. If you voted yes, sit down. Very good. We've only got 13.
18 men now left standing and five women up here on stage. On October 18th of this year, one of the networks will celebrate its 50th anniversary. Which network is it? There's your card, Crystal. CBS. You think it's CBS? Vote yes. If not, vote no. Four of the men agreed with CBS. Nine of the men disagreed. The correct answer is CBS. If you voted no, sit down. We're going to make short work of this, Annette. There's only four men left standing in the audience. And here's your question. From what part of the hog are chitlins made? There's your card. The fat on the outside. If you think it's the fat on the outside, vote yes. If not, vote no. One of the men agreed with the fat on the outside. Three of the men disagreed. The correct answer is the intestines. If you voted yes, sit down. Nice try to bluff. Three men left standing, three women trying to knock them out for $5,000. Which cartoon character says, the, 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 that's all, folks? There's your card. Porky Pig. If you think it's Porky Pig, vote yes. If not, vote no. Two of the men agreed with Porky Pig. One of the men disagreed. The correct answer is Porky Pig. If you voted no, sit down. Only two men left standing in the audience and two women up here. The average shoplifter is 23 years old, married, and of which sex? There's your card, Beverly. Female. If you think it's female, vote yes. If not, vote no. One agreed, one disagreed with female. The correct answer is female. If you voted no, sit down, and there's only one man left. Let's see if we wait a minute. You gotta play one more. <laughs> one more. Okay, here we go. This is our last chance. Ladies, gather around. Louise here. Here's the question. Actress Jill Ireland is married to a very famous actor. Who is he? There's your card, Louise. Charles Bronson. If you think it's Charles Bronson, vote yes. If not, vote no. You said Charles Bronson. The gentleman voted no. The correct answer is Charles Bronson. Some contestants and members of the studio audience will receive cosmetics and Saturo by Dorothy Gray. Saturo Moisture Cream saturates dry skin so it feels soft and smooth again. Saturo by Dorothy Gray. And the Sunbeam Swing Air, the 1,000 watt blower dryer that's super light, super small, pulls up to go anywhere. And Bon Bell, French for good cheese, elegantly smooth on a cheese lover's palate. From Laughing Cow, La Vache Kiri, Bon Bell. And the Broxident Automatic Action Toothbrush with interchangeable brushes for the entire family. It's a great gift idea from Squip. Don't touch that remote. Up next, funny man Steve Allen watches a panel of celebrities as they try to separate fact from fiction. I've Got a Secret is next here on Game Show Network. That wraps up our Wide World of Games look at some rarely seen programs from the Game Show Network vaults. And remember, you can see more classic shows